Adele from Let's Get Inky and it's time for my May flip of my 100 day project. If you haven't already seen the April flip through or the explanation video where I tell what I'm doing, I'll put the links to those in the description below. But essentially uh, the 100 day project is where you pick a creative something to do for 100 days and I have chosen to write my little boy uh, who's currently 14 months old almost actually he's 15 months this week um, I've decided to write him a little letter every day in a like miniature junk journals type thing in my passport sized traveler's notebook so I've already done a flip through of uh, April let's see where does May I accidentally started showing May that's April here we go so I'm going to give you a little flip of uh, May and of course we're already in June, probably in July by the time this video goes up, but I'll be sure to update you with the rest later on as well. I also post a uh, Instagram photo every letter over on my Inky Quill Instagram if you want to check those out too. All right, so let's have a little look. So I get a lot of questions about the uh, typewritten journaling and I use an electric typewriter that I bought off Gumtree, which is like Australia's version of Craigslist. And it's brilliant. If you can get your hands on an electric typewriter, I highly recommend it because you don't have to do the manual pushing and you don't have to worry about the, the ink being a bit dodgy on some of the letters. Uh, so I highly recommend that. So I just typed it out on a piece of white cardstock from a stationery shop, just a smooth uh, finish one, and just cut it into strips and stuck it down. So there's May 1st and 2nd. I love using vintage book pages and just sticking bits over the top so there's a little bit peeking through. Every day I've also used the Heidi Swap date stamp to do the date. And these are some of my, are they, I think they were left over from a scrapbook layout that I have. This is a great way to use up your scraps. Um, I have, you'll see in the setup video, I have a little container where I have put um, all little embellishments and bits and pieces that I, I want to get used, but you know, you, you reach for the pretty new things when you're doing a scrapbook page, whereas this it's great to use like the little bits and pieces. This is one of my Patreon um, bits and that's the end of the first book which is extremely chunky so I'm going to need to get another cover um, which is unfortunate but you know it's worth it in the end then we start the second book I don't have a tutorial on how I made uh, these notebooks I made them off camera but I am working currently on a online junk journal class so I'll keep you updated with that when it gets finished it gets finished editing i love this blue paint and i can't remember which tube it was i think it was just a cheap tube from my um from my stash so i hope i'm looking at the camera as i'm doing this and not the book so i hope i don't miss any because there are a few flaps and things uh, this is one of my patreon printables Oh, look at his little squishy face. So these are, this isn't a current photo, um, but I had it lying around, so I just stuck it in. Ideally, if I, I think when I, I think I ran out of printer ink before um, May, uh, mid-May, possibly, and if I had my printer set up somewhere on my desk, I would print more current photos and slip them in as well, but that's okay. He's, Archie's going to have enough scrapbook albums to look through to see what he looked like as a, as a young chap. Uh, another one of my Patreon bits and pieces and this one too and then folded it out. I did a little bit of paint on the back here and it's just it's just been really fun to to have a play with my supplies and kind of do very quick pages. With, with art journaling it takes so long to um, to do a an art journal spread because I like to do so many layers of stenciling and texture paste and all sorts of things and it's this is nice I, I can essentially get one of these done in five minutes or ten minutes or 15 if I feel like doing something a bit painty um, this is another one of the the wreaths that I drew it was a May printable I think and it's great also for using up stickers that are weird no offense swans but struggle to use you on my normal scrapbook pages and then I printed some of my uh, mixed media backgrounds on stickers 
this must have been the week that the May printables was, yeah it is, my May Patreon printables are released on the 15th of the month. So you can see this is, this is, um, this is, this is, that is, that is. There's a lot of May printables popping up around this point. And then I like pages where I just do a big swish of paint and then do my journaling over the top. Oh, Archie stole my paintbrush and so he did his first painting. So I had to keep that in there. And then if there was a photo that related, so this was talking about um, how much he loves Nelly, my parent's dog. And so I had this photo just lying around so I used that as well. They do get a bit chunky towards the end. Um, I made these page tabs on a Patreon video. I've been using this a lot to experiment with, with stuff for that. I love, I think this is one of my favorite spreads and I don't know if it's because it's so monochromatic and it's such a, a contrast so much with the color of this page and just the, the gray and white with that little bit of ripped paper down the bottom. I love it, I, it's one of my favorites. Then this was a funny page, it was a complicated one. So I have a tag in here and then one letter there, one letter there and then fold it out and there's another letter in here. So this would be great for daily journaling if you wanted to just keep a little journal but not um, commit yourself to a really large size or even a full size traveler's notebook. It's nice to, to work in this smaller sized um, layout. I did some, I used my white Uniball Signo Broad pen because I know someone, someone always asks about the white pen. It's always the same one. Uh, and I just wrote over the top of some Dilutions acrylic paint. And then we're almost at the end of May. A couple of little painted hearts I made. It's nice to use up some washi too and actually use it. <laughs> And then we've got the 31st of May and then we start with June. So I'll do a June flip through as well. Um, I've got a little bit of catching up to do. I've been, I've tried to be good in June and do a lot of these single page ones. So these are two separate letters as opposed to something like that, which is a double page for one whole letter. I have started my late, my last hopefully book. Um, I'm up to the 13th of June. I'm a bit behind. It's currently the, the last couple of days of June when I'm filming this. And so I've, I've been writing notes in my uh, phone for what I want to write about every day. And I'm hoping to get caught up and I'm hoping to finish it in here. I think, I think there's probably about 30-ish days possibly. Um, so I'm hoping to squeeze them all in here. If not, I have got one more little book and this is what they look like beforehand. It's just a whole lot of papers and pockets and flaps and all sorts of fun things. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. I also um, would have recorded a quick one in case you don't want to listen to the chatter. Um, but it's, it's just been so fun and like these type of things, it's I, I don't do in Project Life because they're behind, and scrapbooking because they're hidden behind page protectors, but I feel like in this little journal I have more of a chance to play with um, different texture stuff and even just feeling the strips is really fun. Yeah, I'm a paper nerd. I like to do that thing and then like lifting out little tags and yeah, it's just been a... A really fun project. So if you've done the 100 day project, let me know how you're going. I'm pretty sure it finishes around mid to end July. I think I probably should look that up. Uh, and I've really, really loved it. I, I wish that I had stayed on top of it, but I had two um, big trips away uh, this month, which has caused me to be behind a little bit. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do videos every Friday over here and then every Saturday over on my main channel, Inky Quill. And I've been doing a lot of extra videos as well because I can't keep to just <laughs> one a week. Uh, and I also have a Patreon where I do digital printable collections every month and at least eight videos, um, which are usually real time and longer um, every month as well. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next video really soon. Bye!